About four months ago, I made a Summoning Salt parody video. Specifically, I made it on the game Dr. Doe's Chemistry Quiz, which is, for lack of a better word, not safe for YouTube. I just googled speedruns of the game, chose the biggest creator, and made my video that's only about three or four minutes long. A new development has cropped up though. A few weeks ago, I received a comment from somebody very interesting. The actual current world record holder for the game commented on my video. They cheekily said to make a part two. I said let's do an interview instead. So that's what this video is. Alright, so I'm here with the infamous Dr. Doe's Chemistry Quiz speedrunner, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> What's up? It's me. Yeah. I have a 56 second time. I do not regret anything. You currently hold the world record, right? I regret nothing. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> uh, you were the guy who was in my video, right? No, no, that's JoJo. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, you only included JoJo. Yeah, you just, you, you mentioned that that might have been, that, that was you or something. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's just get into the questions. I've got about 10 of them for you. So, uh. Let, let me hit no you with them. Just, just hit me with them. All right, so um, this is the question that I think everyone has on their mind. Why decide to speedrun this game specifically and not something else? You know the uh, you know the interesting quiz video by Quagmire Toilet Gaming. You know the fucking Mr. Pletcher gave us a weird exam thing. Yes. I I got that video in my recommend and I was like, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I found it and then I was like. What if I speed ran it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's basically it. So you thought it was really funny, just really funny to speed run. Yeah, it was just like it was just like a meme run, I guess. I don't know. It's I really, just... I don't really take speed running super seriously. I just speed run whatever the fuck I feel like. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, speaking of that, uh, was Doctor Doe your first ever game you decided to speed run? No, but I don't really have like a super long track record before it either. I speed ran like the Valorant tutorial, mm -hmm. a game called Neon White, and then, yeah, no. Just those? Yeah, no, yeah. And then I think I also speed ran some web games. Uh, so, uh, what genre of games do you prefer to speed run? Usually, I don't really look much into the genre. I more so look into like either how funny it is, or like how how fun or fun or eh, how fun or funny it is okay so uh you're the type of person that's like i want to do a speed run but i want it to be like the funniest idea possible kind of thing yeah either something funny or something i just personally like enjoy running so like uh the the intro not this <laughs> not not this you this is not this is not enjoyable. <laughs> this is not fucking enjoyable. Okay, okay. Uh, so I was actually going to ask you what your favorite part about speedrunning the game was, and uh, if you actually enjoy playing the game, but uh, we now know well, the second okay. question. To be fair, it's not that I don't enjoy the game, but it's like... You know, I mean, to be fair, it's it's a completely RNG run, so yeah. the, the, the most enjoyable part is when you finally get the lucky run, and you're like, oh my god, finally. The stars, the stars fucking aligned. <laughs> so it's like... But apart... What? So it's like you're a gambler, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamba Gamba. We love gambling. So uh, you're, you're of the mindset that 90% uh, of gamblers give up before they hit it big, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You get, you gotta keep going till you hit it big. Yeah, th that's how you speedrun Doctor Dose Chemistry Quiz, cause uh, it's all RNG. <laughs> it's all RNG, and it's even more RNG with a certain something I found. Oh, uh, so speaking of that, uh, is there any cool tech within the game you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, I did, I did find one thing. So one thing I think Jojo found was holding down space to make the dialogue progress faster while clicking your mouse to advance it. But I found something related to answering the question. So for whatever reason, when you're like spamming the corner or whatever to answer one of the questions, cause you know, you have to remember where the fuck the answer is to what specific question you're asked. Mm -hmm. For some reason, there's an extremely low chance, but you can like fuck up the animation a little bit and answer it and the button will like stay there mm -hmm. as the next question appears 
So when you go to answer the next question and you keep clicking there, it will skip the little pop-up animation for the answers. Uh -huh. And you can just instantly answer the uh, following question. I call it an early answer. Okay, so early answer sounds pretty interesting. Each, each one saves a whole second, I think, or at least a little bit less than a second, but it's around there. Have you been able to find a method for it, or is it just purely, like, luck? No, I think it's purely luck. I've not- I've tried to find some way to replicate it, spamming near, like, spamming at certain positions of the buttons, like, near the middle or something, or, like, dragging my mouse or something, just anything. But, no, I, I haven't been able to, like, get it consistent. And, uh, you mentioned to me in our DMs that you kind of wanted to, like, get a decomp of the game so you could hopefully try <laughs> yeah. and figure out what's going on, right? Yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be funny, but the thing is, I, I need to spend, like, $10 on Alpha 995's Patreon. <laughs> yeah, so... Dilemma of the Ages, Dignity, or whatever l little is left of it, or Dr. Doe Secrets. I mean, between you and uh, JoJo, that's like five dollars each, right? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. Do you... we split the money? Are you in contact with them, or uh... no? <laughs> no, they're just uh, some innocuous person out there. Yep. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's kind of hard to get in contact when it's like all for YouTube because the game's not allowed on Speedrun.com for obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh. So I'm going to move this question ahead of time because you mentioned that. Uh, so speedrun.com currently does not allow NSFW games on that platform, obviously. Uh, do you think this is justified? Uh, and do you think there should be like a platform that allows more uh, not safe for work games like in their leaderboard for speedrunning? I see no issue with not safe for work being disallowed. It doesn't really... I mean, it doesn't really change much, but I think it's also good because obviously there are a lot of uh, miners on SRC, so exposing them to not safe for work games wouldn't exactly be the best of decisions. That's a very fair so point. I think, I think making like a fucking Google sheet for leaderboards and managing them that way could be like an alternative for those like not safe for work speedruns, like this one. Mhm. Mm yeah. So I, I've read a little bit about that, and people are like, they just have like community records, but. The thing about that is that it makes it very hard to find like actual like runners yeah, so uh, that's that's the problem but it's i mean it's kind of the best we have or at least what i can think of would you be in support of people making like a separate site specifically for these type of runs that'd be funny as shit <laughs> i'd love that <laughs> that would be pretty funny yeah um that'd be great so how big is the speedrunning community just yeah, off the top of your head do you know what, for this game or in general? For this game. I know that I ran the game, JoJo ran the game, I think I saw one other guy run the game, I forgot their name, and that's about it. I've only seen like three people on this show. <laughs> okay, so there's a, a three speedrun uh, leaderboard. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, I mean, hey, that's a whole podium. It's, yeah. it's not, it's not micro anymore, it's, well, it's not nano anymore, it's micro, you know. Yeah, you get. We're, uh, we're moving up. We're moving up in the world. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised there isn't more people invested because of the the nature of the game. Yeah, itself. I mean, it is kind of a bizarre game to speedrun. Yeah, a not safe for work game that is completely RNG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, as the current world record holder, do you try to push the record constantly, or are you just comfortable holding it where you're at? I do it in bursts. Like, sometimes I'll just be like, hey, I want to push Dr. Doe again, and then I get nowhere, and I'm like, fuck this game. And then another two months pass, and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna try my luck again. So it's like... It's like... It, it's like, think of think of the game as like a casino, right? You go to gamble, but instead of gambling with money, you gamble with, like, patience and sanity. You gamble with your and then when time. You, when, you, when you run... You take a break, you gotta like recharge, you know, and then you come back. <laughs> so you, you play the game for like short, like two hour bursts, and then you uh, you give up yeah, for a yeah. couple months. Uh, that yeah. sounds like post nut clarity to me. <laughs> nah, I, mean, I don't play the easy mode, I'm a real gamer. Yeah, I mean, it must be hard playing <laughs> the speedrun one handed, it's got a lot of tech involved, right? You just gotta. <laughs> oh my god, this guy, <laughs> fuck it up. Uh, so you've mentioned a theoretical perfect run to me exists. Yeah. Uh, so do you think it would be possible to create a task of the game? The, the, that's what led me to like, 
talking about the decomp or whatever. Because mm -hmm. that would make it much, much easier to make a task for the game, considering, again, RNG. Because uh, certain... Because there is a pattern to what questions appear when. Mm -hmm. Like, question, like you'll, you'll never see, like, a one-line question on, like, question seven, for example. Yeah. But you will on, like, question one. So you gotta get, like, the... You gotta get the shortest questions possible for each question. And then for the god-god run, like, the god run, like, sub-50, then you gotta get, like, an early answer on as many as possible. I don't know if an early answer nine times is possible, but I know it's at least possible, like, four times, surely. So do you think that there's something in the code that's, like... There's, like, batches of questions it can give you for each one, or is it, like, there's some yeah, sort yeah, kinda of... Yeah, like yeah, kind of like a pool, I guess. Like, a pool of questions it picks out randomly for the numbers. Like, question one's pool is, like, pretty big, and then, you know, question two's pool is a bit different, and then, yeah. Because my... Because what I was thinking is that there might have been some kind of, like, a... Like, pattern within the RNG seed that could be exploitable if found out what it is, but, uh... Yeah, I, I'm... yeah, it could be it could be a seed thing, maybe. Yeah. If it is a seed thing, then that makes things, I think, significantly easier. Yeah. Because then you can brute force your way to the perfect one. So, did you want to make? Were you the one that wanted to make the task, or were you just leaving it out on the table for somebody to do it eventually? I mean, both works. I mean, I, I'd be I'd be so down to like find what the perfect run of this game would be. I don't know if I could make a task. I don't really know how to make tasks, but. It'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't know if it's possible to currently task Newgrounds games because it's still, like, hosted on a web browser. I mean, I guess you could have, like, a macro for inputs, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Of course, there could always be issues with, like, uh, internet latency, that kind of thing. So, it wouldn't, it wouldn't always be consistent. Uh, no, it wouldn't be internet latency, would it? Because, uh, it oh. loads up the game, but the game doesn't, like, use... The game doesn't, like, run off the internet or whatever. It's not like if you get, like, a lag. Like, it's not, it's not like if your Wi-Fi cuts out. The game's just gonna fucking freeze up. Well, it will eventually, but not, like, immediately or anything. But... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you have anything... it's just, like, a Unity game hosted yeah. on new games. Uh, so, so do you have anything that you would like to say to the wider speedrunning community? I regret nothing. <laughs> you regret nothing? You regret nothing. I regret nothing. Alright, so, final question, alright? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. After all your speedrun attempts, would you hit that? Hit what? Dr. Doe. Would you hit that? No. No? She's not your type? I would not. Nah. Nah. Well, this concludes our <laughs> questions. <laughs> uh, thank you Amazing. so much. Amazing. Thank you like, so Like I said, I only play on hard mode. I don't play the easy mode. I'm a real gamer. Yeah, only real I gamers. I stay up past 7 p.m. playing Minecraft on a school night. Yeah, only uh, real gamers uh, play the hard mode. Uh, yeah, real shit, real shit. <laughs> so uh, thank you for having an interview with me. I appreciate it a lot. I've had a good time talking with you. Uh, I've had a good time. This was fucking... This was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even expect you to fucking respond, let alone in, like, four hours. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna conclude everything, then. So, uh... Yeah. That's great. That, <laughs> this, has been a, this has been a life-changing interview. Yeah. I, tr I truly see things in a new perspective now. You are now enlightened. I, I am enlightened. I'm gonna get a sub-50 right now. <laughs> <laughs>